Hey Virgo, this is House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, so we're going to take a look at past, present, and future energy next 24 hours for love. Okay, let's see here. You can also follow me. All the links are under the video in the description box. You can follow me on Instagram, House of Virgo. Okay, past position. You've got Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the High Priestess. Okay, present judgment. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Oh, future. Four of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. Oh my, what the, okay, Virgo, all right, past, past position, you, all right, so let me, first of all, let me just say who's here first, okay, so the high priestess, that's Virgo energy, all right, so you could be dealing with another Virgo, you also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you have Scorpio twice, Taurus, um, um and 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 did i say yeah pisces again okay all right let's just get that out of the way but you know that's just for clarifiers don't worry your person could be like i don't know gemini don't worry about it okay this is the message for your love so the past position somebody was somebody just blocked like Greedy, you might have been dealing with someone who's very greedy or just kind of blocked. They weren't sharing. They were a bit selfish. It's just like, I'm taking my ball and going home. That kind of energy with somebody or at least that might be something that it felt like, okay? Um, this person, whomever you were dealing with, I don't care what their sign is because their placements could be anywhere. Very, very deep feelings. Very nurturing, very healing, very supportive. I feel like that's a nature for this person, but quiet secretive not communicating okay this person i just feel like whatever they're whatever's going on or whatever was going on with them they just went into mystery mode just you know the high priestess trusts her intuitions but this person just kind of i feel like in some ways they were just reflecting maybe thinking about because that's a two could be thinking about partnership or balancing things out but it kind of feels like this person you know, whoever you're, whoever you were connecting with, went into quiet mode. But it could also be both of you, okay? Where you, you're both maybe like just not talking to one another. You just like look at how he's got that pentacle over his chest, like blocking the heart chakra. Nobody's saying, nobody was saying anything. Really, the unconditional love, the compassion, the harmony about talking about the relationship or healing. Okay, nobody, the heart chocolate, heart, I almost said heart chocolate. Hmm. The heart chakra was just completely blocked both ways, maybe in both directions. So as an energy between the two of you or you and this person in the past, both very deep feelers, both, you know, very nurturing and caring and supportive. That's your energy, but towards one another, I don't feel like there was really good communication. There was a blocking, communicating the heart and the emotions and the feelings. Let's get a clarifying card for the Four of Pentacles. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, strong, strong blockages. Not sharing their wealth, not sharing their legacies <laughs> not sharing anything you know the 10 is always about having the 10 of pentacles is always about having that structure and that balance and i feel like you know both of you have that stability in a lot of areas or maybe just like maybe in career you, i just feel like that energy was there but there was a lot of conflicts and a lot of loneliness there was a lot of blockage between the two of you and there's uh, in the past a feeling of loneliness. Now let's take a look at the Queen of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups. All right. Um, I feel like you both treated each other like friends, which that's not a horrible thing. There's a supportive energy. You're both definitely quite supportive of one another, but like in, on a friendship, like the Three of Cups is very light. It's not serious. 
okay um it's very light it could have been dating maybe you were both not sure of each other and you were both dating other people and that might be why the blockages were there or this person was doing that with you or maybe you were doing it with them but there was that that you know because it's weird because I feel like you both wanted this long-term security with each other. That's what the Four of Pentacles is about and the Ten of Pentacles. But I just feel like there was no expression of love and healing and uh, a deep, the deep stuff, not the surface stuff. And maybe that was all that was offered was the surface stuff, the friendship, the light energy. Okay, this the Three of Cups is not a card of like committing or being serious with each other. Okay, so let's take a look at the High Priestess. But we're taking a look at your person, so that's what I feel like was coming from them, okay? Maybe they were dating others and just not really expressive in their emotions, but wanted something with you, long-term security. They saw that, but I don't know. They're, they're just a lot of blocked it. Look, the Four of Pentacles, again, to clarify the High Priestess. Blocked, block, blocking, block. Of, so, like, I mean, you could build a freaking tower with all these blocks. Seriously. <laughs> I'm not telling you how they thought, what they were thinking, what they were feeling deep down, just, but still wanted to be with you. Still wanted this long term or this family thing or this marriage or something. Still, they still wanted that. I don't, I don't know. It, this is, can be a possessive energy as well. Holding on to you in like some very evasive ways, holding on, but not willing to commit and just, you know, keep spreading themselves thin with others as well but not really opening up the deep emotions the present energy is like i mean this 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 reading i it's just so obvious like judgment is here this is reconciliation this is like whole wake-up call with this person a final decision this is an opening up this this person is just really i don't know what happened I don't know what happened, but this person is like looking at something in the present. This person is like taking a whole card look, a whole, whole card look, a cold hard look. Or maybe they're looking at these cards right now, or maybe you are or something. But they're taking a cold hard look at the seeds that have been planted in the connection between the two of you right? I feel like there might might be a history for some of you because the reconciliation card is here, okay? Whether it was just friends, whatever whatever it was, whatever the, it could, maybe you just work together, I don't know. But this person is really taking a look at like where they've sown their oats and what, you know, it's like patiently waiting for growth. And I feel like this person wasted a lot of time. They wasted your time because they couldn't figure out what they wanted or, or, or they couldn't get over something. You know, this is delays, a lot of effort. They look at the effort you put in, they look, they look at, presently they're looking at the effort they've put in and they're having a wake up call here with judgment. And then the two of wands is here. Uh, this person's like, they're in the position of like making a final decision here about this relationship, this connection. Right? They, they could be waiting for you to reach out or waiting to see what happens, but they are also taking a look at that they've been waiting. For some of you, um, this is communication over the internets or it's a global thing. It could be a long distance thing. For others, it's just you guys talk on a computer or something, on the web or something. But let's get to clarity on the judgment call. What's going on here? Wow, this person's freeing themselves here. This person is like, they're ready. They're, they're coming in presently, ready for, they have fresh hope. They want to take a chance with you, have a new direction, path, beginning, adventure. Okay? Throwing their cares to the wind. They don't care about the consequences. You know, I, I don't know what consequences there would be because, Virgo, you're awesome. But maybe for them, there's something that causes them to want to be free. My goodness. That's what they're thinking about. This is a transition here to get into this connection with you that they know that they need to make, they must make. This is necessary. This is um, this is fighting the fears, whatever the fears are with this person, 
Um, could be relocating, moving, fear to, fear to connect with you. They're looking back. I just feel like they're looking back at all the deeds and everything that was going on. And, and they're like fighting the fears, overcoming the fears to come forward, going into the light or to, you know, connect with you in some way or another. Like if they've been thinking about this. They might be maybe thinking about the times that, that you two were together. Uh, it might have been scary for them to, you know, their memories, they're looking back. Let's see what the Two of Wands is here. Oh, wow. A Nine of Swords, anxiety and stress. They're, this person's afraid. Like, they have fear that you're, they're going to be waiting for you to reach out to them. Maybe you haven't been. Well, I did see some blocking. Maybe you were blocking them. or It doesn't have to be actual blocking, but just nobody was talking. I feel like this person does want to communicate with you and come towards you. But they are like, they're up in their head horribly about waiting to see if you're going to reach out i i feel like they might have a passive energy and they kind of wait and they wait and then they're not like really initiator they're more of a responder and they're stressing that you're not gonna you're not gonna initiate or say anything to them um a lot of restlessness maybe some depression they're hopeful but they have a lot of anxiety about this they don't know whether they should come towards you they want to, but they don't, like, their head is like, should I just reach out or should I just physically go over to Virgo? But, wow, you know what? Listen, Virgo, you've got the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. Marriage, marriage, proposal of love and marriage, Prince Charming, Princess Charming. It's, in the going forward, you're going to marry this person. You guys are going to be together point blank period <clears throat> whoever they are I don't know who your person is you know uh, let me see show me the four of wands because that's that's uh reunion energy that's reconcil there's reconciliation here that's reuniting with this person that's homecoming celebrations family friends and a reunion it's marriage it's commitment it's engagement party it's a wedding it's like all of that you know it's celebrating four of wands energy forest is all about foundations this is the 11 11 i mean and look these two pillars that's the 11 one one there's two here the high priestess and the hierophant go together they're a beautiful spiritual match okay so your connection is is more spiritual and soulful than anything you know there's like this level that you both understand one another on a much higher you know that's that crown chakra it's like you both know you know that you're meant to be together you know you know it's that overall body that's like the the the, it, the spiritual light comes down into that it's like yes this is my person and they feel it too all right give me the four of wands Oh, strength, courage, unconditional love. Wow. Taming the, the wild beast here. This is like, Virgo, this person, they see that you, they're wild and you're more, um, you take on an energy of being like confident and self-assured. And you, this person, they think of you and they, they, they feel like you, you just tame them, you calm them in some ways, or you just make them feel good. And they want to come home. I just feel like come home. They want to be with you because they want more of that. There's something, you know, you give them unconditional love and self-respect and you're courageous with your love and you very, like, you love yourself. And this person... Um, they see this in you and you give them courage to want to move forward with you. I feel like there's a lot of reflection going on with this person about who you are and who they are and who you were in a relationship. And then the Hierophant pops in, right? This is kind of like conformity. This person's, they, they've been thinking about it and they want to conform 
to whatever you want and whatever you need like virgo you've got like i mean hey this is the house of virgo this person wants to come into the house of virgo just tell me what to do tell me what the rules are tell me what you need from me and i will conform what are what your expectations are of me this person like let me into the house of virgo and i will you know i'll fulfill your expectations i'll meet your needs i'll conform whatever you want me to do chariot energy cancer yep making changes action and change a journey this is like ready to go this person is ready to go they have their gps coordinates set and they are like Phew. they have this inner awareness this wisdom the hierophant is a card of wisdom so is the high priestess they have this insight they want to be successful with you and reach that destination with you going forward and the knight of cups here you know if you you connect with this person you reunite with this person they're going to ask you to you know there's a proposal i don't know if it's like actual marriage it could be it could just be a proposal to be and like it's romantic uh let's see okay the three of swords came out reversed which is interesting because my cards are all in the upright so uh, healing they want to heal this re this relationship with some kind of breakup or whatever might have happened there was a third a third party thing um, you know this apology recovery after loss physical healing right they want to make it better and I don't really feel like this person did anything intentional to you I just feel like that they were just withholding because of whatever their withholding their emotions because they weren't sure really like they were just fearful to let their deepest emotions out about you. I don't know if they were fearful. Well, they were. They had anxieties. Maybe there would be abandonment or rejection or that kind of thing. But it feels to me, Virgo, like going forward, you and your person are healing this relationship. Like they're coming forward. It could be they might be, they, they're either initiating something with you or they're responding to something with you now just know look here's the ace of wands so a new passionate beginning between the two of you and physical as well just know that this future energy you know this is a past this is what you're right now and this future energy it granted the next 24 hours that future could go away ahead so it could be like next month or two months that energy playing out um Let me do the, um, did I do the Angel of Wisdom Tarot? I think I did. I can't remember. I do so many readings on different channels and so many personal readings. I'm like, ah, I can't remember. But Virgo, go on over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel. You can uh, join and become an exclusive member of my channel. And once you go over there, click the join button. Um, or you could look on the Virgo reading. There's a link underneath there. Um, and then you can explore and choose the best perk option. I have two options, two membership options. And um, check out the perks and you'll get to be a part of my channel over there. And really cool stuff I'm offering. Okay, let's see. What is your message here? Wow. Seven of Cups. Making a choice. No more procrastinating or overanalyzing. Getting clarity on what you desire and moving forward. All right. There may be some addictions and options to work through, but things are shifting here. Okay. Four of Earth. Again. That is the third time. Oh, my goodness. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black and white. Being charitable. Ugh. Virgo, you're getting like um, a, a, an engagement ring or something. You're picking it out. I think like some of you might have like been going past the store. Maybe you stopped in a jewelry store or something. At some point in your life and looked at the rings you're like all ready to pay for what you want saving up your money or it's this person okay male or female uh you're getting like you're getting either it's like an engagement ring or there's a gift um for some of you it's emerald 
an emerald ring but there's something here like that is true and true i've never seen this a uh, jewelry case and that's like a ring up there i don't know if you can see it but putting a down positive down payment or a deposit on what the heck somebody wants to marry you they would like they're in love with you they want to be with you point blank period King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, and seeing a counselor, okay? Some of you might be connecting or seeing a counselor or you're involved with either a water sign or someone who is coming across the only two court cards that are showing up here are the water signs so you could be connecting with a water sign or could have in the past and here they are uh, i mean i don't i mean if you're connecting with two water signs i don't know what to tell you <laughs> but whoever this person is you know there's there's a past something or other you know them I'm not feeling somebody new. All right, let's see what else. Okay, eight of water. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. This is your person. This is you. Um, take it however it resonates, but I feel like this is your person. It sits here on the King of Cups. This person is like making a huge life change. They're leaving wherever they are to come towards you. That Eight of Cups energy, uh, totally like, uh, like, uh, like, um, why can't I talk? Hello. This is like moving forward, um, going after that Ninth Cup temporarily separating from something or someone or lifestyle or whatever that they're in and, and going after the ninth cup because there's an they're unfulfilled with where they are they're taking their little dog too <laughs> some people that they have a dog all right they want to give us okay ego an illusion of being trapped except responsibility accepting responsibility for the situation and making choices that support the path to happiness addictions or unhealthy unhealthy habits the ego is getting smashed breaking these addictions and unhealthy habits look at the chain look and this this is like archangel michael he's a warrior he's a fighter then now if you're female that could be your person but it's not it's an angel this is someone who's protecting both of you Uh, Ten of Pentacles again, financial security for both of you and the family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge, joyous stability in a relationship. And last but not least, the Nine of Cups, wishes coming true, dreams becoming reality, a magical time of life going forward, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. This is total, like a wish is coming true for you, Virgo. Believe it. Don't listen to those naysayers in your head or those past tapes or whatever. There's, there's major shift. Change is afoot, Virgo. Change is afoot. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Please make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back in the next 24 hours for your following reading, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.